Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on the mountainside. After he sat down, his disciples gathered around him, and he began to teach them. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is God's reign. Blessed are the sorrowing, for they shall be consoled. Blessed are the lowly, they shall inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for holiness, they will have their fill. Blessed are those who show mercy, mercy shall be theirs. Blessed are the single-hearted, for they shall see God. Blessed too the peacemakers, they shall be called sons and daughters of God. Blessed are those persecuted for holiness' sake, the reign of God is theirs. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you, and utter every kind of slander against you because of me. Be glad and rejoice, for your reward in heaven is great. The Gospel of the Lord. Familia Hernández, amigos y amigas de Sergio, los acompañamos en su dolor. Acompañamos también en oración y amor a, a las familias como ustedes que han sido víctimas de la violencia, de los secuestros, decapitaciones, abuso de sus derechos humanos a manos del ejército militar, las familias que salieron de sus casas por miedo y amenazas. Sabemos que toda esta violencia ha causado increíble dolor que permanecerá en sus corazones toda su vida. Y no es tan solo estamos con ustedes. Over 3,000 murders in our border. And blood is running on our streets leaving unbearable scars of pain that will last a lifetime for fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters and friends. In this area, violence and fear have become a way of life for us. And people every day see the numbers climbing on television, on the radio, feeling disgusted and disillusioned. Many say no end in sight. Many say there is no way out of this. We who follow Jesus Christ have another way of looking at the situation of violence in our border cities. We have an alternative to this violence and death in our midst. It comes from our Solidaridad de la Paz. Nos unimos esta noche no porque tenemos miedo a la violencia y a la muerte, pero porque tenemos fe que hay un poder más grande en la Solidaridad de la Paz. Un poder que actúa entre nosotros a pesar de todo lo que nos rodea. There was a group of people, minor workers, with their families were gathered in church to pray because of the wages and unfair housing that they had in a little town in South America. And they gathered at the cathedral with the bishop. And while these mine workers and their families were praying, the bishop was preaching and just as he was preaching, this man walks up the center aisle and goes to the bishop and says to the bishop, we're surrounded by the soldiers and they are heavily armed and there are tanks around the cathedral. What do we do? And there was a moment of tension. And the bishop says, well, let me go outside and see what's going on. And as the bishop got down from the pulpit and he was walking down the aisle, this lady got up and she said, no, Senor Obispo. Usted no vaya, yo voy, I will go. And this woman gets up and starts walking outside the church and immediately all the other mothers and, and women who were there and their children followed her outside the church. And they opened the big doors of the cathedral and one by one these women went to each soldier who immediately as the doors opened started pointing at the people coming out of the cathedral doors. And one by one, the mothers went to each soldier and gave them the sign of peace and said, Tu eres mi hijo. And the little kids would say, You are my brother. And one by one, you could hear the, the weapons going down the floor, one by one. And then the commander calls the headquarters and he told them what was going on. And he says, You have the authority to shoot them all. And he said, No, we can't. There is a greater power at work here. 
Nonviolence wins. Love wins. El poder de la solidaridad viene de la definitiva victoria de Jesucristo sobre su propia muerte y violencia con su gloriosa resurrección. Esta paz es la gloriosa presencia de Jesucristo que está desarrollándose, que está brotando entre nosotros a pesar de toda la oscuridad y maldad que nos rodea. Por eso la paz es integral en la Santa Eucaristía. En la misa no nos apuntamos pistolas unos a los otros, ni siquiera cruzando el puente o el río, sino nos unimos así como un modelo de un saborcito de lo que pensamos va a ser, creemos va a pasar en todo el mundo cuando nos unimos, porque esta es una celebración de la solidaridad, de la paz. Y cuando nos damos esa señal de la paz, es una cosa profunda para nosotros, porque no solamente nos damos la paz, también le damos la paz a la familia de Sergio y a todas las víctimas de violencia entre nosotros y de muerte. Y con esa señal queremos indicarles a ellos que nosotros queremos traerle una nueva esperanza para que haya más paz entre nosotros. Es que la solidaridad existe en cada vida y vive en cada corazón porque Dios nos lo puso allí. Por eso Jesús en el Evangelio de hoy nos recuerda de nuestra propia vocación. Dichosos ustedes que luchan por la paz. Serán llamados hijos e hijas de Dios. Blessed are you who work for peace. For you will be called children of God. On a day like today, it's very important that we mention the real causes of violence. Poverty and the growing gap between the rich and the poor. Did you know that half of the top 10 richest people in our country make up 70% of the wealth? One man got in excess of $1 million, $100 million bonus check. Imagine that. I have a suggestion for him. Give it to Annunciation House. They could use it. Violence comes from the NAFTA policies that intentionally ignored the plight of the poor. Racism gives us violence. You may say that you're not against immigrants, but if you support laws, like in Arizona, that cause death and suffering to the poor, that is backdoor racism at its worst. Violence comes because we lack just immigration reform and government policies that focus principally more on enforcement than on human rights. Every nation has a right to protect its borders against imminent threats, but the immigrants who work to feed their children are not a threat to anyone. Their presence is not a threat, it's a human right, and we support their human right to a better life. People are coming north and our guns are going south of the border without papers. We have an addiction of drugs that cause death, a border wall that is a symbol of hostility that causes people to die in the desert. The militarization of our border has already shown its deathly face, and we know about the profiteering of selling violence to children in the media. The list is long and dreadful. These failed policies and laws serve only to bring dark results. Death and violence flows in our streets. No law or profit or policy of violence has ever succeeded. Solidaridad de la paz is what works.